Hello everyone, it's me, Mario. Ciao, copilot. Well, it replies in Italian. <laughs> I'm sorry for this terrible intro, but I promise there will be some interesting content about copilot chat. Stay tuned. So now copilot speaks your language and you can set the default from the setting. But that's not the coolest thing of this video. For example, I can go here on this file and I've got this effect which does something on scroll, but it doesn't work on page load. So if you press command I, I can ask, well, doesn't work on page load. And let me see what Copilot can suggest to help me with my problem. And the problem was that simple. I attach this function to the scroll listener, but I don't call it at first. So if my page is loaded, it doesn't work on the first try. And that's exactly the answer. I should call this function when the component is mounted. Thank you, Copilot. But there's even more. If I press Command Shift I, the chat opens on top. Hola, que pasa? Well, it also replies in Spanish. I know I should stop with those terrible jokes. But let me add something more. For example, if I open my terminal, my focus is here, so not on the code, but on the terminal, and I try again, command I, you will see that the prompt has already something filled. At workspace slash terminal. This is pretty much a shortcut to ask Copilot chat to generate something or tell me something about the terminal for me. For example, the common remove node modules. I even added a typo, but it should work anyway. Yeah, so I can remove node modules with this function here. It tells me the flags recursively and force. And you probably already noticed this icon. Well, insert into terminal. So I can click here and the command is already in the terminal and I'm also already focusing it. So if I press enter, the command is executed. Now, what was this at workspace here? Because you will find it also in the chat prompt. Let me clear this. And if I type at, I will see at VS code and at workspace. And those are the new copilot agents. Basically some AI agents with specific knowledge on some aspects. For example, I can ask something about VS code or I can ask something about my own workspace. The cool thing is that you can also add your own agents. If you were a GitHub universe or saw it live on YouTube, you found that they had, for example, an agent train of their internal documentation. So without even leaving VS code, you can ask Copilot chat some question specifically related to your own stuff, your internal documentation, and the answer will be relevant for you. The example they used was how to create a your shortener and if you ask a generic AI, it will tell general public libraries to use. But if, for example, you have in your internal documentation how to do that using internal libraries, well, your agent will know exactly that answer and that's what you're gonna get. But the best highlight of the GitHub Universe presentation was me taking a selfie with the CEO. And you know what the cool thing is? Well, there's even more. I highly recommend you to have a look at the GitHub Next website as is that's where the GitHub Next team pushes and talks about their new projects. For example, Monaspace is the new font they release, which I should definitely try. And actually it's one super family, five fonts, three variable axes. What does it mean? Well, you can actually configure and set your font depending on your preference and even mix different styles depending, for example, if it's a variable, a string, or some other possible combination you can find here. But also on GitHub Next, you can find all the AI power programs. For example, where was it? Here, Copilot for CLI. You might already have seen a video of me using Copilot for CLI, as it was a separate package you had to install. You can now find all the Copilot for CLI capabilities directly embedded in the GitHub CLI you might already have installed. If you're excited as I am for these new amazing changes and improvements Copilot is bringing to our developer life, well, I recommend you to subscribe to my channel as I will cover as many as possible of these new updates, 
trying them for you, delivering demos, so that you can find if the latest feature is best for your team and you have an idea of what is going on. With that said, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye!